thing that I want to point out with labels is people don't fit into boxes. Like, you can't just say, oh, well, this person's just one thing. Because that one thing doesn't define that person. Like, there's a whole lot of things that make up who a person is. Something else that I think people forget is that things can be consequent. Like, that's not, that's not what I have, that's not. Okay, I know what I'm going to say now. Things are circumstantial. Okay, like, in a certain circumstance, this person can be this. But in an, another circumstance, they wouldn't be. Like, I don't know. I had a really good example, but I don't remember. Like, you can say that someone's dumb. Okay, that's my example. You say, you call someone dumb. You call them an idiot. You know, you say all these awful things about their intelligence. Because they made, they failed science. And so you automatically assume that person is dumb. But that's circumstantial because they're not dumb in everything. I mean, like, sometimes they can be really intelligent. Like, they could read out every number in pi ever. And that is infinite. That is infinite. That's, yep. So, like, they know pi forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And they can do every math that is possible, and they're just math genius, but they can't pass zoology, like, darn, I mean, they're not dumb, they just aren't strong in that subject, so it's very, like, circumstantial. Um, and I think the most important, like, point that I could bring up is people change constantly, like, the this one is like a big deal in today's society and I think that anything we talked about when you're a little kid I know that I knew a lot of people like this I would I had made a few comments in my past and I'm not proud of it but homophobes you know one time I made a um, I really I feel so bad I made a really bad joke I said something really like rude about someone being gay and I don't even know if they were gay I mean I called them queer and I said some other things and I was just being like a douchebag and I was like 10 actually I was probably younger than that I was like seven or eight and I was like saying all these things and like I was homophobic and I was like oh that's weird <laughs> you know but like it's not it's just a thing and like things change like I was homophobic I was against gays I was you know like hating on them and making jokes about them like really this one joke oh my god I hate myself for it like oh, I want to apologize like the dude didn't hear me it was impossible because he was on a balcony and I was in a pool so there was no my, my cat I don't know but there's no way that that heard me but like so much guilt I'm sorry dude if you watch my videos I'm sorry I'm an awful person <laughs> But I felt like, okay, so like, that's the thing, like, you know, things are circumstantial, things change, and we're people, we don't fit into boxes. My animals are playing, excuse the loud thumping on the floor, because they're being loud. Um, anyways, so, things change. I was very homophobic, I was very, he's growling at me. Things are circumstantial, things change, people change. Ideas and views and opinions change. I was just like very judgmental of like everybody. But now that I'm older and I'm knowledgeable and I've experienced life a little more than, you know, six and seven and eight years old, I don't I don't judge you, like, I don't care. But you know, seven and eight year old Emily did, for sure. Um, so labels are dumb. You, people change. That's obvious. The world changes, society changes, and you live and you learn, and then everything just changes and evolves as you grow. And so labels don't work because if, you know, people knew me back when I was seven and eight, and they knew that I was a homophobe, that would probably stick with me now and stick with me today. And that's not something I would want to be stuck with me, you know? Like, that's just, 
you can't depend on a label to be like, I don't like Susie because she eats mustard on her pizza. I mean, like, in five years, she may hate pizza, you know, she may hate mustard. You don't know Susie's life, so you can't really judge Susie based off what she puts on her pizza. Like, that's a dumb example, but you, you're getting what I'm throwing down, right? You're picking up what I'm throwing down. That's what it was. Okay, I'm a mess. Society feels like you, you have to label everything. Like, everything's a bottle of ketchup and mustard, and I don't want to be ketchup or mustard. I don't want to be labeled. You know, I'm a bunch of different things, you know? There's just a whole bunch of issues. I don't want to be labeled. I haven't slept in 48 hours. Midterms tomorrow. This video was a disaster.